Welcome to the Reach Museum's Boredom Buster activity for today. We are going to be making snowflakes, which is one of my favorite holiday activities. As you can see, I've been practicing for the last couple of days. So to get started making snowflakes, you only need two things. You need a square piece of paper. I have some really pretty origami paper today. And you need some scissors. Now you're going to be using sharp scissors or big scissors like this. Make sure you have a grown up with you to help or that you have a lot of practice with scissors. Safety scissors work great for this project too. So if you wanna make a snowflake at home, all you need to do is take your piece of paper and fold it in half along the diagonal line. And it doesn't matter which way you fold it, you can, you can uh, choose which way to display it or hang it up when you're done. So, make our first fold. So our paper looks like this. Flat like this. Now it's a triangle. Okay, we're gonna do another fold directly in half. So this is where our fold will be. We're gonna take this little point and line it up with this point. All right. Now we're gonna take our two ends and we're gonna fold them in about a third of the way so that we sort of have, or we have an, a two overlapping or three overlapping layers. And we want them to all be the same. So this usually takes me one or two tries to make sure that, that I've got it just right. Okay. There, I've made my first fold, and then this one. Oh, good, it's gonna line up just right. So what you want is for these to line up almost exactly. It doesn't have to be exactly lined up. See how this part doesn't quite line up. That's okay. But as close as you can to getting them to be even, the, the better your snowflake will look. The reason for that is that snowflakes are symmetrical. That's part of the reason that they're so beautiful. Snowflakes have symmetry along three different axes. So they always have sides that are either six-sided or multiples of six, which is pretty cool. So now that you're at this part, your snowflake should look like this on one side where you have your two points. On the other side, you should notice a line here. So you're going to take your scissors and you're just going to cut right along that line so that you have a flat top. You should have one little triangle. Okay, that's it for folding. Now, all we have to do is to cut some shapes into the sides, the edges, of our snowflake. Now a couple of tips. First tip is that you wanna make sure to leave at least some of this side all the way connected and at least some of this side all the way connected. If you don't, you will, your, your snowflake won't be able to unfold in a full shape. You'll end up with more than one shape at the end. So make sure to leave a lot of, a lot of this space or some of this space I like to cut off this point down here because it makes a hole in the middle of my snowflake. I've done that with, I think, all of the snowflakes I've made. You don't have to if you don't want to, but if you want a hole in the middle, this is where you cut it off at that point. So the easiest shapes to cut in these snowflakes are triangles. So let's do our first one with a bunch of triangles. We'll just do one triangle on this side. Got it a 
little bit further. Okay. And then let's flip it over and do a triangle on this side too. Maybe another another triangle on this side. We have a lot of space left. Okay. And then I'm going to cut the tip off just in a straight line like this. All right. Ready to see what our snowflake looks like? And carefully unfold it. If you haven't done the unfolding before, it can be a little frustrating. Take your time and be patient. All right, and there's our very first snowflake. You can cut any kind of shapes that you want out of your snowflakes. Um, and we'll talk about that in a little bit. If you don't have origami paper at your house, you can still make snowflakes at home. If you have notebook or computer printer paper, it's really easy to make a square. You do need to have a square piece of paper to make a symmetrical six-sided snowflake. But if you have a square piece of paper like this, all you need to do is fold one of these short sides down to meet one of these longer sides, like that. Take your time, make sure that those edges and points really line up. Okay, there we go. Now this extra part that isn't part of our folded paper, we're gonna just cut that off. If you don't have a lot of practice with scissors, this might be a step that a grown up can do for you so that it can be nice and straight. Maybe somebody else that does have practice with scissors. All right, now you have a square piece of paper and you can make a huge snowflake out of this. If you don't want to make a snowflake that, that, that is this big, if you would rather have some smaller snowflakes like the ones that I've made back here, you can also, instead of folding this into a snowflake fold, you can just fold it into quarters. So fold it in half hamburger or hot dog style. It's a square, so they're the same. And then again in half the other way. And then cut on those lines and you'll end up with four pieces of paper this size. Two of them will even have your first fold ready to go in them. So we'll use this piece to make another snowflake because I want to show you what it can look like if you try a different sort of cut at the tip of your snowflake. On this one, remember, we just cut straight across. Actually, I've got some pre-folded ones here. Let's use one of these. So instead of cutting straight across on this one, we're going, we're going to try to cut it at a diagonal, like this. All right, so let's see what kind of middle we get with that. It's a star, a six-pointed star. So if you cut a diagonal slice at the bottom of your snowflake, that's what it will look like instead of a circle or a hexagon. Let's do one more. We cut this one near the bottom of our point. Let's try to cut one up higher and see what happens.
then we get a big circle in the middle. All right, if you don't have any computer paper at home or origami paper, you still might have something that you can make a pretty great snowflake out of. If you have coffee filters at your house, they make great snowflakes and you actually can skip the last step in putting them, <clears throat> putting them all together and getting them folded. So everything's the same as with paper. You fold it in half first and then in half again. And then you fold it into thirds. First one side in, then the other side. Oh, I have a lot of overlap on mine. So I'm gonna try again. Move it over a little bit more. Okay. And like I said, we don't have to do that last step of cutting off those points because we don't have any points on this one. It's already ready to cut. This is also really good material if you're using safety scissors. It cuts really easily. So I'm gonna cut a little circle and then a bigger circle. Oh, and then I'm gonna be careful to leave some room here on the edge. Okay. And then I'm gonna cut some triangles into the other side. A little triangle in this one so I don't cut all the way through. I didn't cut a hole in the middle of this one, but of course you can if you want to on yours. All right. Thank you for joining us for making snowflakes today. Hopefully we'll see you again another day for Board and Busters with the Reach Museum.